in this video we discuss about algorithmic state machine designing or also known as ASM it's a very important to design any processor and control logic we know that binary information stored in a digital system can be classified as either data or control information okay first of all this should be in a mind this is very important and the logic design of a digital system can be divided into two distinct parts one part is concerned with the design of the digital circuit that perform the data processing operation and the other part is concerned with the design of the control circuit that supervise the operation and their sequence so first task is the design the digital circuit okay so first of all first part is to design the proper digital circuit design the digital circuit circuit is a short form of circuit that perform the data processing operation so depending on the design and number two is supervise the operation and their sequence okay so the relationship between the control logic and the data processor in a digital system is shown in the following figure the data processor subsystem manipulates the data in registers according to the system requirements the control logic initiates properly sequenced command to the data processor the control logic uses status condition from the data processor to serve as a decision variable for determining the sequence of control signals and the control logic that generates the signals for sequencing the operation in the data processor is a sequential circuit whose internal states dictate the control commands for the system so now we consider the control and the data processor interaction this is one common block this block is known as our control logic so all commands are coming from this control logic and here is our data processor data processor okay these are data processor and from here we get the output data and here we apply the input data and the status condition is the status conditions and this is the external inputs okay so this is a control and data processor interaction okay so control sequence and data processing task of a digital system are specified by means of a hardware algorithm an algorithm consists of a finite number of procedural state that specify how to obtain a solution to a problem okay so basically a specific flow chart that has been developed specifically to define the digital hardware algorithm and in this algorithm there are two parts one is the design of the digital circuit and another is the control circuit operation that supervise the operation and the sequence okay is called algorithmic state machine or called the asm chart the state machine is another term for a sequential circuit which is the basic structure of a digital system so now we discuss about the concept of asm chart asm chart is very important because using this asm chart we design our control circuit so this is a special type of flow chart suitable for describing the sequential operation in a digital system the chart is composed of three basic elements okay first of all student please write down this asm chart in this asm chart okay there are 
basically three component or three basic elements that is first of all one is state box number b is the decision box okay and number c is called conditional box conditional box okay these three box are very important and in the following figure in the following figure we just show here that here some blocks are maintained here one block this is known as register operation or called output and here we apply our binary code okay this is output and here this is called the general description this is called general description okay and this is this block is known as specific def description why because is re register and from starting r equals to clear that is register equal to clear for the code 011 and this is a timing state mentioned here that is t3 okay and for a conditional box in the in the in, in the latest in the in the in the, pre in the next slide we we'll discuss about elaborately in this condition so now what is a conditional box here is a decision that is condition and one here two path work for one for zero there, there is one exit exit there is another exit path depending on the logic of zero this is called the decision box and this is this is called these two are called known as state box how state box is transferred from one to another this is called decision box okay student please read thoroughly now our this is one decision box and conditional box okay now for the conditional box there is an register operation or output okay and this is coming from coming from exit path is exit path of decision box decision box okay this is very important and this is known as the conditional box concept in in a, in, in a in a digital hardware system okay this very okay so so now in the this is output this is known as conditional blocks this is known as conditional box okay so here three three different states are described by this so now here define some parameters okay so first of all here t3 is the timing state t3 is known as 3 the state has the symbolic name t3 the binary code assigned to it is for 011 and inside this box and look here this binary code assigned for 011 this is a t3 is a timing state and inside the box is written register operation this r equal to register which uh, defined by the arrow sign 0 that is which indicates that the register is said to be cleared or 0 or write 0 in the register when the system is in, is in the t state t3 the start name inside the box may indicate for example the output signal that start a certain operation okay so different types of signal are used here t1 is a timing state 1 t2 is a timing state 2 and one status input include here that is known as the e when e equal to 0 there is one status and for e equal to 1 there is another status so now if we example for this for a conditional box statement so now if, if we start from here from here we start at the t1 cycle and the corresponding binary input is 0 0 1 okay now this is this is first of all this is an input control and this is a timing state of the particular input so for e there is a two condition arises for one if this is one then here one operation
operation performed that is R register is cleared and if 0 and after these two states are coming in the common state here binary input equal to 0 1 0 and these are timing state 2 and here we see that the E register is value is copy to the F register in the T2 cycle or timing cycle ok so now this is a discussion of the conditional blocks so now we discuss about ASM block arithmetic state machine block is very important it is this block is a structure consisting of a state box and all the decision and conditional boxes connected to its to its exit path an ASM block has one entrance and any number of exit path represent by the structure of the decision box an ASM chart consists one or more interconnected blocks an example of ASM block is shown in the following figure associated with the state T1 a two decision box and one conditional box the diagram distinguishes the block with dashed line around the entire structure ok but this is not usually done since ASM chart uniquely define each block from a structure a state box without any decision or conditional boxes constitute a simple block so first of all for the ASM block discussion we first here one operation is performed that is in a register A the value is saved by increment by 1 for the binary input 0, 0, 1 and these are timing state E1 and now for E there are two states for 1 for 0 and now just we consider for the design purposes this is R tends to 0 and if this is 0 then it comes to the another there is F and from F there is another two logic R for 1 and 0 for 1 and 0 there are two operations are performed and this is timing state T2 the binary input 0 1 0 and this is for timing state T3 the binary input 0 1 1 and this is the T4 1 0 0 ok so we see that this is our this dashed line Okay, this is represented by a dashed line. This, this. Why we use this dashed line? Because so here you see that there are basically two decision box and one conditional box. The decision box is this and this and conditional box also as we mentioned here these are conditional blocks these are one conditional block ok that di the diagram distinguishes the block with dashed line around the entire structure this, so this is the dashed lines ok so now this is the same chart is very similar to the state diagram and each block in the ASM chart describe the state of the system during one clock pulse interval the operation within the state and the conditional boxes shown in this figure are executed with common clock pulse while the system is in the state what is the state yeah right that is t1 the same clock pulse, clock pulse also transfers the system controller to one of the next state t2 t3 and t4 that is for this for this and for this as dictated by the binary value E and F so depending on these two value the state goes from either or either from here or either from here and for F there is also two logic condition arises for 1 and for 0 ok so now we talk about the next point that is known as register operation ok so register is basically used to store the binary number or the binary data okay and in the register there are lots of operations are performed that is shift operation increment operation add operation clear operation and data transfer operation is also performed in the register so in the following figure 
is an example of symbolic notation of some register operation. A register is designated by one or more capital letters such as A, B or R, A. So, A, B or R, A, register A, this is a symbolic notation. The individual cells or flip-flop within the n-bit register are numbered in a sequence from 1 to n, okay, from 0 to or or from 0 to n minus 1, okay. A single flip-flop consists of one bit register, the transfer of data from one register to another by symbolized by a directed, directed arrows that denotes the transfer of the contents, okay. So just we, here we see that, here we see that the state diagram of equivalent of the SN chart is for the first state 0, 0, 001 and if e equal to 1 it goes to the state 100 0, 0. and when EF equal to E0 and F1 then the state goes to 0, 011 1. and when EF EF 0, 0 means first E equal to 0 and then F equal to 0 the state goes to 0, 010 0. okay and this is symbolic notation also of the, this symbolic notation of register operation we defined by a table where in this table there is a symbolic notation is here and here we discuss the description so what is the meaning of this this is transfer of content register B to content to register A what is the meaning of this that is R register is cleared what is this meaning that means set flip flop equal to 1 this is not a register ok this is set flip flop to 1 what is the meaning of this statement that is incremented by register by 1 that is count up 1 what is the value that is decremented by a register value of 1 and what is the meaning of this that is addition of these two values are stored in this register so ASM is basically the starting subject from which we, de we can design our own microprocessor or own small sequential circuits and from this concept we can design our control logic which is the main component of any microprocessor or microcontroller okay so that's why the arithmetic state machine is very important so now we discuss about the timing consideration so timing of the all register depending on the clock cycle so depending on the clock cycle and depending on the value of the logic signals we, we already discussed about in this uh, this concept in the previous lecture when we discuss about the clock in clock pulses applied in the flip flop on the register so for the specific application we def we describe the clock operations for different different transition states because as you know that there are two different types of clock either negative edge or positive edge and then this presence of this clock signal when the control input is changes the output of the flip flop should be changes okay so now we uh, wish to design a digital system with two flip flops okay student please write down we design a digital system of two flip flops which is named as E and F okay two flip flops and one 4 bit binary counter A that means this A is basically represent by a3 to a0 the individual flip-flop in a are denoted by not sorry this is a4 to a1 a4 to a1 with a4 holding the most significant bit and a1 is the distinct bit okay a start signal s okay a start signal s initiates the system operation by clearing the counter a and flip-flop f please write down the counter is then incremented by 1 starting from the next clock pulse and continues to increment until the operation stop counter beats a3 and a4 determine the sequence of the operation okay so what are the operation the operation sequence is if a3 equal to 0 then a e is cleared equal to 0 and count continues and if a3 equal to 1 e is set to 1 then if a4 equal to 0 the count continues but if a4 equal to 1 f is set to 1 on the next clock pulse and the system stop counting 
so this is very important please note down properly this condition okay so first of all our task is to design the asm chart of the following figure when no operation are preferred the system is initial state consider t0 waiting for the start signal s because as we mentioned that in our problem that when start signal initiated the system operated by clearing the flip flop a uh, sorry clearing the counter a and flip flop f okay so this is very very important <coughs> now so discuss uh, from now we discuss about the asm flow chart so this is our first initial this is our initial state okay so this is in a t0 state okay so when a is input equal to 1 the counter a and the flip flop are cleared to 0 okay so now from here we coming from the condition s so if a is equal to 0 then we coming from this initial back to the initial state again when a is equal to 0 but as we told as we mentioned in our problem when a is equal to 1 that is when this a is equal to 1 there are two operations are performed student please follow carefully one is a register is cleared and flip flop is cleared because we mentioned that when s this s start signal is equal to 1 the counter and the flip flop are this counter equal to 0 and this flip flop equal to 0 when this equal to start so this is the first condition okay so just we follow this logic and now next uh, in the next cycle the counter is incremented by 1 and this increment value is stored again back to this counter and this is happening in the t1 machine cycle or t1 state okay now it depends on the condition of what condition yes right a3 why we use here a3 because we already told that this a3 equal to 0 okay so now here the condition coming for a3 equal to 0 and for a3 equal to 0 what is the condition e is 0 okay fine that is that is the condition is the flip flop output equal to 0 okay that is very easy and when a3 equal to 1 now we see that when a3 equal to 1 yeah 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 right e, e tends to 1 that is e equal to 1 and then the a4 is coming okay so now uh, for this condition this e is 1 and then the logic of uh, logic bit a4 is coming okay when a4 equal to 0 now see that when a4 equal to 0 uh, so when a4 equal to 0 what are in our questions when a4 equal to 0 that means uh, when a4 equal to 0 and e set to 1 then the, then 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 if a4 equal to 0 and count continues and the count continues but if a, a, a4 equal to 1 and if e set to 1 the next clock pulse and the system stop counting so so with the basically here here one thing should be remembered so for a4 equal to 0 so it it, it again come back to this state okay this is very important because it con con count continues okay and 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 if this is a4 equal to 1 this is a t2 t2 cycle because these all are the basically the addition box okay so now flip flop is the value of flip flop f equal to 1 and uh, and after this 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 it's in it's basically again it's basically again starting from this state okay so this is very very important this state diagram that's why it's very important okay this is very much important so this state is basically connected from this so this is the total timing state here one timing state t2 here one timing state t1 and and and, and sorry one thing should be remembered that for the here when e tends to 0 and this coming back to again here okay okay so so this is the asm chart for this system designing okay and uh, 
and uh, the block associated with T1 has two decision box and two conditional box okay uh, what are the meaning the block associated with the state T1 has two decision box okay and two conditional box so T1 is basically the timing state 1 okay okay and uh, the counter is incremented every clock pulse at the same time one of three possible operation occurred during the same clock pulse transition either E is cleared that is that is that is E is, e is cleared and control stays at the state T1 A3 equal to 0 or E is set that is this condition and control states at state T1 that is A3 A4 equal to 1 0 so A3 equals to 1 that that is the this is this, this is the state and A4 equal to 0 this this is the process and E is set and the control goes to then 1 1 then again this this for these are T2, T2 states okay when the control is in the state T2 the flip flop A B is set to 1 okay right and the circuit goes back to its initial state again yeah right T0 so the ASM chart consists of three states and three blocks the block I set with the T0 consists the state box one decision box and one conditional box the block I set it with T2 I again repeat the block I set with this T0 consists of the state box one decision box and one conditional box okay okay right the block I set with T2 now this T2 consists only the state box this is the state box and uh, the control logic has one external input S this S and two states output which is A3 and A4 and one thing should do, and one thing should remember for T1 cycle and for the T1 cycle also there is only there is a two decision boxes from T1 these are starting these are two decision boxes okay and uh, two conditional boxes okay these are the conditions okay so now these are the timing sequence so now we just plot our sequence of operation of design example for various conditions for this for this algorithmically algorithmic state machine designing so every block in an ASM chart specifies the operation that are to be performed during the one common clock pulse that is called the master clock and uh, in the following table we show the binary values of counter and the two flip flops after every clock pulse the table also shows separately the status of A3 and A4 as well as the present state of the controller because we design the controller we start with a state T1 right after input signal S has caused the counter and the flip flop F to be cleared the value of A is assumed to be 1 because E is equal to 1 at T0 and because E does not change during the transition from T0 to T1 so now we plot our table sequence of operation table so first of all we denote here counter state then we defined our flip flop state these here are the conditions and this is the states this condition is very important because depending on this condition the controller moves from one state to another state okay this is the state a4 a3 a2 a1 and flip flop are flip flops are e and f and there is a condition some condition also and this is the state so now first count initial state 0 0 0 and then 0 0 0 1 then 0 0 1 0 then 0 0 1 1 this is a 0 this is one state because uh, because for this state this is equal to 1 and remaining all are zeros and uh, we know that a3 equal to 0 and a4 equal to 0 for the timing state t1 okay and when as the as the counter 
increment the another value 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 this 0 1 1 this is one state because in this state we note that this is equal to 1 so we, uh, so the output of the flip-flop state is 0 0 1 0 1 0 this is 1 0 this is 1 0 why because in this state a3 equal to 1 and a4 equal to 0 okay so these all are in the timing state t1 so this is also in the timing state t1 okay so now when 1 0 0 0 then 1 0 0 1 then 1 0 1 0 and 1 0 1 1 okay so here we see that only if a 4 equal to 1 yes right yeah right so that is that means that the sorry sorry i'm just sorry because we write here the condition of flip flop extremely sorry this is 1 0 this is 0 0 this is 0 0 this is 0 0 again and here a3 equal to 0 but a4 equal to 1 so d this is also the condition for the timing state t1 because if we follow this proper this table or proper this asm chart so where now we coming from here okay now okay when when when, when a3 equal to 1 then is then e equal to 1 okay and when a3 equal to 0 then e equal to e equal to 0 and if equals to 1 when yeah right when 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 a when, when a4 equals to 1 only so depending on this logic we just put here the value of 1 or 0 or 0 or 0 or 1 uh, depending on the uh, this counter bit operation because a3 and a3 a4 are two control bits okay right yeah right that is next state our 1100 1101 1110 and last 111 so this is a final step and uh, and we know that and uh, so basically uh, in this state 1100 the flip flop is 0 0 1 0 and 1 1 but here you noted that both a3 and a4 equal to 1 so this is should be in the should be in a timing state t2 so t2 is basically defined in these two states okay and uh, this is a state another state this is the another state when e and f both equal to 1 and a3 a4 equal to 1 and counter output equals to 1101 so this is just a minute okay this is this is the value of 11 one one. this is not a value of one. this is 1101 one. there is two values of 1101 one. for uh, first value is 10 and this is for 11 one. for f equal to 1 for a4 equal to 1 and 3 equal to 1 and this is again coming back to the state of t0 again from these states okay so these are the asm chart and its corresponding table representation okay so now we start our design process how to design this circuit okay so now that the, the designing approach of this asynchronous state machine design that or sorry arithmetic state machine designing process so according to us ASM chart gives all the information necessary to design the digital system the requirements for the design of the data processor subsystem are specified inside the state and the conditional boxes one thing should be remembered that here two flip-flop are used so the design procedure is depending on your information so here first of all here we used two flip-flop okay so design using JK flip-flop this Q say consider this E output and the another output is JK input and this F output so this is the two the clock input are connected via master clock for via master clock so here the main clock is connected okay so now here we design our 4-bit counter 
center operation okay so this uh, here from clock pulse is connected this all clocks are short circuited short circuited okay and uh, here four outputs are present a4 a3 a2 a1 okay so now from this four output use only two input one is a3 a4 sorry and here we design our control logic and in this control logic one external input is applied that is called the s or start yeah right and here three outputs are present timing state t0 t1 and t2 okay t0 t1 and t2 so now this start signal is coming here through a end operation with a t0 and uh, here mix applying the clear input okay in the next in the next video we will discuss about thoroughly the architecture because this architecture is quite confusing we only talk about in this video just to talk about the design in the next video we, we discuss this design from this ASM chart okay